talking about the common cold. <laughs> now on the right, we have a healthy lung, and on the left, we have a lung of a person who has experienced the common cold. <laughs> All right, I'll let you in on a secret. When I was looking this up, the picture that I found for a lung with a common cold just wasn't getting my point across. So I just grabbed this one. I mean, essentially, they're the same thing, right? Yes. So be careful, and if you feel like you're getting a cold, come see me and I'll give you a Band-Aid. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about my favorite, staph. Staph infection is easily transmitted. The best way to prevent from getting infected is to not have any physical contact, ever, with anyone. All right, moving on. Let's talk about something near and dear to our hearts, the flu. Now, kids, this is probably going to sound silly, but this is really serious, okay? I want you to raise your hand if your cat has ever had the flu. That's right. Did you know that cats were actually the most susceptible to getting the flu? And they're probably infecting you right now without you even knowing it. Now, this next slide contains graphic material, so just get ready. <laughs> I just, I really hope that the Peppers have taken pickles to the vet lately, because this is just tragic. Now, let's move on to my number one complaint that I hear in my office. Nurse McLaren, I have a headache. What should I do? <clears throat> Take, for example, our beloved headmaster, Mr. Weber. He used to come to my office every day complaining of a headache. And this is a man who prides himself on his tech savviness. And I've been telling him for years, Boston, those uh, uh, e-pads, they're really bad for you. Don't you know how dangerous they are? And don't you know what can happen? And then it happened. <laughs> this is not a bad joke, kids. This is for real. Here's my advice. Stay away from all of your fancy technology, your iPods, iPhones, microwaves, digital clocks, well, anything with a, scr with a screen. <laughs> I'm just going to shut this now. Um, <clears throat> So, before I go, I just want to review that uh, in a couple weeks we have exams, and my rule is that you cannot come to my office unless you have one of the three B's. So I want everyone to say them with me. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, let's start with the first one. Boys. Boys. Brain matter. 